We're here with our old friend, Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. Uh, now, Richard, you just told me something very important that you wanted me to say, uh, but I don't remember what it was, so can you say it for me? <laughs> it was something about numbers and percentages and things that but, are, yeah, I don't this understand. Is the yeah, this is the best way for load officers to keep the majority <laughs> of the revenue that they earn every year, just like a real estate agent. Got it. You know, real estate agents tell you what we call a cap in industry. Normally, it's around sixteen to twenty thousand dollars, and then after they pay in their commission to, to reach that for the company, they keep one hundred percent of it. So we're going to do the same thing at Richard Ocado Companies. You, as a loan officer, are going to pay us a cap of sixteen thousand dollars, and everything else you you keep, it, everything else you earn is yours. So, real quick, an example: if you make two hundred thousand dollars in a year, I'm going to take sixteen thousand of it, and then you're going to keep one hundred eighty four. The traditional model that loan officers work on now, they do two hundred thousand dollars in revenue, and they keep about eighty thousand or a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Really? So this is gonna change the game. We're gonna do what other real estate firms have been doing for years, but we're doing it on the mortgage broker side. And this is something mm -hmm. that's not being done it's anywhere not, it's totally different. Totally different, not being done anywhere else. We're also gonna have revenue share. So if you bring loan officers to us, you're gonna make money off you know, you're gonna make yeah. money from a downline just sure. like EXP or Keller Williams. Wow. So it's you you gotta check it out. Just go to work with Richard.info. It's simple, work with Richard.info. See if it's for you. Give me a call, let's have a conversation. Okay. Now you want me to try to say it? Yeah, you say it. <laughs> <laughs> check it out. Work with Richard.info. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenics. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying out the others, I decided to try Neogenics. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenics, where all you have to lose is pain. Our nation's second president, John Adams, always slept on the left side of the bed. He believed this would increase his chances of having positive dreams and a more successful next day. That's why every mattress we sell here at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress includes a left side. And for those that prefer waking up on the right side of the bed, our mattresses come with one of those too. This President's Day, you can save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic sets. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little extra. With a little extra. Uncensored, unedited, and almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. Okay, with um, with all of the efforts in, um, I don't know, I'd say the past 10 years to emasculate men in our society, get rid of the uh, imaginary toxic masculinity. In other words, our society demonizing straight masculine men. Um, I think that has made what the the new trend on the horizon is going to be with men's fashion. I think it's been tainted by all of that and men are going to balk at it and say that it's feminine. When it started out in the 80s, Ace, when it was our trend, it wasn't feminine. It was done by athletes and uh, those who would be considered toxically masculine today. But the, uh, the male crop top is coming back the we man. didn't call them crop tops that's another thing you can't call them crop tops because that makes it sound feminine but we called them half shirts yeah or just cut off t-shirt yeah mm -hmm. <clears throat> so um so in the 80s when we were growing up that's where the shirt would be cut and it, you know if you got it at the store it would be hemmed at the bottom where the the bottom of the shirt the shirt tail would only come to around your belly button that's how far down the shirt would come. May or may not have sleeves. Typically did, mm -hmm. though. Short sleeves. Yeah. Now, when I played uh, in, in the 80s on my football team, that's what our PE uniforms were. And our, uh, you know, shorts and T-shirts uh, stuff whenever we'd have uh, light, light practices mm -hmm. where we weren't full pads or anything. It was a half shirt underneath our shoulder pads or just the half shirt and matching shorts. Short shorts. And it wasn't a feminine thing. It was it was just the thing. Yeah. But now they call them by calling them crop tops. 
<laughs> they feminized yeah, it. And putting them out in the middle of, uh, of everybody saying that we need to get rid of masculinity, it's going to be hit, you know, with, with the negativity. <laughs> now, uh, football players for a while have brought back the crop top look underneath their shoulder pads and stuff, but I wouldn't consider it the same look as the classic because it's with those tight spandex looking shirts yeah. and they cut off the sleeves of them and they wear them just like right under their titties. That's more <laughs> like a the, sports bra yeah. is what that looks like. Because they stop right where that shoulder pad yeah. line is now. Yeah. Didn't uh, didn't an NFL player show up to the NFL awards a couple years ago? Yeah, Ezekiel Elliott. That's who it was. Yeah. With the, with the crop top under the tuxedo? He wears a crop top all the time. Oh, does he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was a look. Dressing it up. That's an interesting mm -hmm. look, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Trying to dress it up. Yeah. What's the age cutoff? Because this is... I, mean, I don't know. It, obviously, it's it's for younger men. So, you know, yeah. I didn't, my dad in the 80s never wore one. You yeah, put yeah. it that way. Yeah, I know. Is it 20, <laughs> 23, 21? Cut off, yeah. Uh, I'd probably say 25, maybe. 25. Yeah if you're working out if you're not athletic you shouldn't be wearing one yeah. I've, but i've never seen a guy in the gym even now with a no with a crop top type scenario mm -mm. you're gonna get some looks i mean if it's a new trend you know you'll definitely you'll yeah. probably get a couple i'm with tj though you got to be in you got to be in pretty good shape to go into a gym wearing that or yeah your belly out yeah, yeah. i think it'll be more at beaches and things like that you know, you'll see the young guys show up at the beach with a cut out, um, yeah. sleeves cut out of the t-shirt and have have it be a um, a short shirt. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna call it a crop top unless it fits the crop top description, which would be if it's a guy wearing um, a short shirt um, in a feminine way. Like if he's wearing it with heels, then yeah, crop top. It's a crop top. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Fair enough. But there's a, there's no way that um, I mean if you're a young guy and and you're just you know busting out to the beach or you're running down the street in the morning to get you a cup of coffee and you're wearing this I mean okay, that looks not, good yeah, yeah, that's, that's not, not as bad. dramatic yeah. as yeah. I thought I would rather see a short shirt on a guy than super baggy pants on a guy okay a short shirt and super baggy pants yeah i i would agree it, yeah i guess the super baggy pants just, I, i've always thought look ridiculous <clears throat> with the belt down around like halfway down your ass right yeah. or if you're having to hold it with one hand while you're walking <laughs> yeah kunye was doing that the other day in that plastic suit that he wears <laughs> He had his hand yeah. holding up his pants because they were too big. What a clown. What a clown. I thought that plastic suit looked really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good look. Like Missy so, Elliott. Ace, will you work out in this? I will not. No? Yeah, no. Nothing that's, that's, another that's thing. a half shirt like that, no. Or, or a, no, it needs to be a little bit longer than that for me. You got to be... You got to be... Not necessarily in great shape, but you can't be fat. Right. And wear that. Yeah. Nor hairy. Yeah. <laughs> Big hairy belly out. <laughs> it's on trend. It's yeah, like, because yeah, when whatever. I was like in, in high school, belly? I was, and wore one of those, I was, you know, rail thin mm -hmm. and not hairy. Yeah. Re what? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't know what the question was. I'm not sure I want to know. Ace, did you ever wear it um, outside of the athletic wear? Did you ever wear it with jeans like this dude? No, I did not. I no. did. Uh, I'd, I used to wear them like that. Yeah, not, I don't think so, no. no. Not that I can remember, no. That dude looks like a goober. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I, I mean, you still got to look kind of cool. I don't know. That's a, that's a bold fashion move to pull off, especially if you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but you know NFL players and all they, they they've been wearing their um, and their and um, college too been wearing their jerseys hemmed up like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our football jerseys were hemmed like because you wouldn't want any excess hanging down and if you didn't tuck it in. 
You know, yeah, and I make, thought they did away with neater. that for a while, where they had to tuck it in, and now now I guess they've changed that rule mm-hmm. again, where you can wear it the half shirt, yeah. essentially. And I think it does look trashy when they're wearing the half uh, jersey with a long t-shirt sticking out from yep. under it. That's trashy looking. Not a fan of that. Mm-mm. But will any of us be ones to wear this new trend? I'll give it a shot. You will. That's what I was thinking. Big belly out. That's what I was thinking. If a vote were to be taken, you would have voted for Riggins. To, mm. to, yeah. No, I would have gone with Rob. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you put a Pokemans on it. <laughs> you wear any damn thing. So yeah, what, I wonder if we uh, put these in the Ace and TJ store, the Ace and TJ men's crop top, if they would yeah. sell. <laughs> Probably. <not. laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you don't think uh, you don't think the ladies that listen to us would want one of those? <laughs> oh yeah, the ladies might. <laughs> they might it uh, might be a uh, summer thing, like as a uh, cover up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, wear that as a cover up with shorts. Yeah. Speaking of that, cover up. Did y'all see the video that Brittany posted the other day when she's dancing in that uh, in that dressy gown looking thing, and one of the straps broken on it, and no. she just keeps like kind of. I mean, I'm telling you, she wants to be naked on Instagram so badly. And she keeps dropping it down to almost, you know, the the no-go part to be on Instagram. <laughs> and she just dances around with her boob in her hand and just like that crazed look in her eye. Yeah, she's not doing well. It's like yeah, that one, because it has a broken strap on it. She yeah. doesn't even have the strap. Yeah, she I haven't hold seen it that up. one. I saw one on Twitter that may be an older one, but somebody posted and said, uh, y'all, she is not okay. And it was Brittany in the, those tiny cutoffs and white boots, and it looks like a a white top that's like maybe exposes her midriff. But she's laying face down on the floor, mm-hmm. bouncing her butt up in the air, and then spreading her legs and putting them back together and bouncing. But she never rolls over. And she, like as it starts, she rolls over on her stomach and is just bouncing her butt up in there. It's like, and again, yeah, she she's in like in the the. The hallway by the it seems mm-hmm. like it's by the front door of yeah, her it's house. A foyer. It's weird. It's the dance foyer. Right. She's just you know, you know grinding on the floor. You're like, what is happening right now? That's how I dance. Just, just get on, get on the floor, face the down. Floor, just hump, just yeah, <laughs> hump the floor. And then one of her favorite dance moves is to put her thumbs in her um, in her uh, bottoms and just pull them down to show her pel- her uh, pubic bone. Like again, as far as she can do it without yeah. getting outlawed. Well, that and is my just favorite like picture. Pose. And walk toward the camera, and and you can look at it, and that 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 look in her eyes is just like, oh my god, this person is is really flipping out here. And flipping then out. Puts the camera in her mouth, opens her mouth. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh my god. And her teeth are, are yeah. gapped like Michael Strahan. Oh god. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, it's okay, demonic. <laughs> what would yeah. cause what would cause her teeth to gap? Well, when you get older, your teeth separate. That's why yeah. I always say, you know, uh, young she's... young people don't ever need a to- uh, toothpick, but older people do. And uh, she's probably been in a situation where she should have been wearing a retainer but for she's a long not time. Forty yet is she? Oh yeah, mm, is yeah. She I think she's forty. She's but um, but yeah, if you're supposed to wear a retainer and you're not wearing it, then that's what'll happen. Mm-hmm. Gaps returning. Oh yeah, she's forty two. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know Brittany was forty two. Oh, she old. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. she real old. You. <laughs> well, suddenly I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's that? Um, Britney Spears is ten years older than your wife. <laughs> you remember when little Britney came to the radio station for the first time, oh, yeah. shopping her music? Yeah. Yeah, she was born in yeah. In, 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 she's eleven years. I mean, she was born in eighty one, and my wife was born in, in ninety two. <laughs> Damn. So Sweet when Brit- victory, when, my when that little when that little cute Brittany came around, trying to get radio stations to play her music, nobody had heard of her. She was in our radio station. Your wife wasn't even in kindergarten yet. No, she would have been in kindergarten. Well, wasn't Brittany 18? Or no, no, she was, no, she was no, 16. She was like 15. Yeah, 15, 16, yeah. Sorry, Brittany, you're too old for me. <laughs> <laughs> how old's Hillary Duff? That's a good one. How, how old is she? Hang on a second. Probably my age. 
36. She looks better now than she ever did. <laughs> yeah, she's 36, Hillary Duff. Okay. Yeah, I think Hillary Duff looks great. So she's what, 12 years older than your wife? No, she's five years older than five me. years old uh, well uh, that's right that's right i'm thinking four about and a, uh four and, and change i was i was thinking about the years apart that you and your wife so yeah, yeah. the duffster screw the duff let's see the muff <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing <laughs> no i'm just picturing how you would say it i don't know <laughs> I, would say it. I would never say anything no like no no that. i know i love that somehow it turned back on on ace there that was yeah. <laughs> I said I would never say he was I, I know, I know. Uh, he's lying about something. When I said it. you, I didn't mean you, right. I mean you. <laughs> it's the Ace and TJ show with a little something extra. This is the extra funny podcast. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at ACETJ.com slash Culver's.